Hello, Hello Floss Tube. Tube. We're, We're the, the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. And other stuff. We went to Pioneer Woman down in Naperville. We got our book signed. Yep. Somewhere. The cover page. You had to have it open to the cover page. They had like this whole order. You had to, they called 25 numbers at a time. Uh, she personalizes it. We were it. 569 and 570. And we waited a little while. <laughs> a long time. I was sleeping out in the hallway. We waited a little <laughs> long. Um, it was really fun. Good to see her. She noticed our shirts um, and she asked me what kind of perfume I was wearing. So my mom was like, you're not even wearing perfume. It was probably me. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, we went to the Inspired Needle. So we talked a little bit about that last week that we planned to a trip down there because it was only about 20 minutes from where we were going. Uh, and it's an amazing little shop. I absolutely loved it. All the um, modeling mm -hmm. models. models. Modeling. Stitched models. Stitched models on the wall. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite was the Frosty Forest that you saw. That was like this big. It, the whole thing. It was postage stamp. <laughs> I think it was done over one on 40 count. And it was so cute. I loved it. It was like as big as two of mine put together. <laughs> the owner, super nice, super friendly. Um... It was just a blast. We have stash from there that we'll show later. All right, shout outs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Helen D, homesteading on the home front, Cindy's cross stitch, and Yvonne at the Night Owl Stitcher. Thank you so much for your shout outs. We love watching your videos. Yep, we do. Questions. Uh, Marina wants to know if you stitch every day. I try to. I try to. I usually do. After dinner, at least. I try to stitch every night, so. Um, Jenny wanted to know which magazine your Santa design is in. That December one. 2016, Just Cross Stitch. Sit down. Was it a special? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Just one of the regular ones. Regular ones, December. Um, Trisha at 3 Owl Threads, she was talking about her chickens, and I have to admit that I brought in one of, her name is Olive Oil after Popeye. Um, I brought her into the laundry room because, for a few days, because, uh, she had lost all her feathers. So I went out there one day and I thought somebody had dumped off their chicken <laughs> in my yard because I didn't recognize her. So I brought her in and, and fed her and she's good now, but she was sitting in my lower, or my laundry room for a couple of days. I have spoiled chickens. <laughs> uh, Jenny wanted to know our Christmas rules all separate charts and she said, you know, they use the same floss, so do I need a skein of a no, you don't each. need no, you don't need a one for each chart. You need I think I I don't know that I've even used a double yet for all the ones I've done. But yes, there's two boxes to each chart. There's six charts each. And the the topper is on the website for free. Um, but no, you don't need a skein of for each chart. Uh, you there might be a couple skein. that you need doubles of. I didn't use their colors. I converted it all to classic color works, so I didn't go by their colors, but I think I've only used one of each so far. And I'm almost done. Um, Ellen wanted to know what the heck I do with all my eggs. I have four brothers, and if you've seen any pictures of us, they are giants. Uh, so I give some of my eggs away. Uh, when I worked, I would sell them at work. And then also, we eat eggs every morning for breakfast. I'd rather feed my kids eggs than cereal. So, But right now, I'm only getting a few eggs, so nobody's sharing. <laughs> they all have to buy store-bought eggs. Kentucky Woman Stitcher wants to know, when you're making your homespun bows and using homespun, do you tear the homespun or do yes, you cut it and I then fray it. it? I tear it. She tears it. Um, Val wanted to know, how do you get stitching straight on your sticky board? She has to reposition it and then she just settles it for it being kind of crooked. <laughs> that's what Val said. That, that's about me too. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey. Um, I, you, can, you can take it off once you get it set down if you don't think it's straight. And sometimes the fabrics... No matter how hard you try, it, it's not straight. So it's um, just one of those things. And Lois mentioned that we promised to show the Mod Podge project last week, and we didn't, so we'll show that after our previous finishes. Sorry about not sticking to that last week. <laughs> um, I don't remember who asked it, but my mom mentioned that somebody asked, uh, what taping setup do we have? I use my iPhone 7 Plus on a tripod. I don't want to fuss with... We have fancy cameras and everything. We just don't want to fuss with them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
That's it. That's all I've got for questions this week. Okay. So we'll do previous finishes if you want to start with yours first. Okay. This was Chelsea's ring bearer pillow for her wedding. And I, she was, she had chalkboardy things. So I wanted to do it chalkboard. And this was my first time trying to chart my own design. So we used a burlap ruffle that we found at Hobby Lobby with rhinestones on it. And the back is black gingham. And then she got married. Show them like the sides where they can see the, the rhinestones. She got married in Disney World and the buttons are rhinestones, but there's like a little Mickey head in them. Yep, a hidden Mickey on the inside. Disney fans will know what the hidden Mickeys are about. Um, I got married at Disney World, but I wanted still like that rustic farmhousey theme. So we still went with like burlap and chalkboards. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted, still what I wanted. I wanted to get married originally in a barn, but it was the same amount to get married in a barn or everybody go on vacation to Disney World. So mm -hmm. let's all just go to Disney World. Yes, it was fun. Um, okay, previous finishes. That little ornament first. This was an ornament from Just Cross Stitch Magazine a few years ago, and I used green gingham for the backing and then some plaid ribbon and some red and cream colored gingham for the to hang it. I forget which year it was in. Maybe like four years ago or something. The Just Cross Stitch Special Ornament Edition. And then this is a Prairie Schooler. Oh, I can't remember the name of the Santa's Flight or something. But this is that tray from Hobby Lobby that it goes in the kitchen and hangs from the shelf and it's got magnets on the back. And then I always add greenery Green. and bows and stuff like that to it. And this was originally black. It was originally red. Red. I painted it black and then I painted it white. So... And you can look in their clearance aisles for stuff like this, too, when it's not in season and change it to your season, I guess. Do you want to do that one? Yeah. Up there? I don't know if you remember, I got this at a estate sale, and it was in a frame, a square frame, and it's a Stony Creek design. I took it, and Chelsea had this embroidery hoop, so she gave it to me, and I put a, a layer of batting behind it, and I just put it in the embroidery hoop and put some stuff on the top, and... It's going to hang in the house for Christmas. Repurposing some. And it's cute. Old stitching. You're going to do your. My sign? Mm hmm Okay. So, Mod Podge. All right. So, this, was, this piece was originally a gift bag that I got at TJ Maxx. It's double-sided, so I was able to make two of these. You just cut down the sides of the bag, make sure that it's flat. What I didn't do on this one was make sure that the little lip in the back was cut off. So make sure that you've got a completely flat piece. Um, my mom had this board already painted with chalkboard paint. After that, you simply put Mod Podge. On the board and then uh, over the top of it. Yep. And paint you do the a whole few thing. layers. And then I just took chalk and rubbed it along the edges. I mean, you could probably put it in something that had a picture frame or something too. But there's different, um, when you go to Hobby Lobby or a craft store and get Mod Podge, there's different finishes of it, just like paint. So there's um, matte, matte, or this is like the shinier one. So it just depends on what you want. If you don't want that glazed look, just get the shinier one. And when we originally did it, there were some bubbles underneath that she was concerned about, but she left they it went for away. 24 hours and they're gone. So really easy. I have a few uh, more. And cheap. Bags that I, yeah, the bag was two fifty, and I made two signs. Um, I've got bags from the dollar store from last year that I didn't use. Stop, Daisy. Uh, one was like a station wagon with the tree hanging out, so I can make something cute out of that. Yeah, and I so, bought a snowman one, so we'll do those for January. Yeah. With a cute scene. Just different ways to repurpose things. Okay. I've got that. We made a list today because we are scatterbrained lately. <laughs> Your finishes for this week. Oh. She was a finishing queen. I don't know if you guys saw her on Facebook, but... Two more of the chalk jingle ornaments. Jingle bells, jingle bells. And my chalkboard tree was already on my blog. If you didn't see it, you can go look there. Those will go back on it. But I used black gingham for the backings and just bows and 
Of course, the silver bells, I had to put a silver bell. Here's another ornament. I had stitched this back last January, probably. And who says you can't put a chicken in a butter dish? So, chicken is in a butter dish. We found that butter dish at the last flea market we went to. It was a dollar. Added some greenery to the top. I did layer some foam board in the bottom to make the stitching stand up to the top. And did a twine bow and a rusty jingle bell. But it's cute. Does ruffled. It jangle? Ruffled. Um, homespun. Yeah, homespun around the sides. That's my favorite. Well, my second favorite. This tray I used for a fall piece. It was that. Oh, shoot. What was I changed the words on it. It was something fall. Pumpkins? I don't know. But anyway, I took it off because I used magnets. So this is the tree lot from Little House Needed Works from our PC Hometown Holidays sale. And I trimmed it with ruffled red and black homespun and added some greenery, some cover buttons, some ribbon on the bottom. It's so cute. I love this. And I am going to stitch it again to do what I plan to do Originally. with all of them. But I just wanted this one separate too. And then this I finished. Oh, let's do this first. This is a little house ornament. I stitched this one a long time ago too, like in January or February. I was going to do the one ornament a month type of a deal, and that didn't work for me. So, <laughs> but I just finished this one this week too. This is from Little House Needleworks, and I used another kind of Christmassy homespun and a rusty jingle bell, and that'll go on the big tree. And last night, I finished stitching, is it Tis the Season? It's the new Classic Colorworks. Country Cottage Needleworks. <laughs> Country Cottage Needleworks, sorry. I That's did why it. we have I a did list. it all in Classic <laughs> Colorworks. <laughs> anyway, I wanted it to go on a muffin or cupcake pan, and a vintage one, of course. And so I found this at a local antique place, and... I used magnets to attach it. I put it then up on my shelves in my kitchen and it's really cute. But this design only took me two nights to stitch. So, and it, the, the chart, they are pink in the chart, but I used barn red for the Santa. And I used wagon wheel for the branches. And mossy, see, I think, from Classic Color Works for the greens. You can see all her colors on her Instagram. Instagram right. She lays them out on the pattern. So you're and same with on my Facebook page. And I am going to post this on my blog later today. I got my pictures taken, but I didn't have to have a chance. She's like but pouting. She doesn't want to be in the video. She keeps sticking her head on I the I can table. just take that off and put it back on. And it goes in her kitchen, so it's cute with the baking theme. So that's it. That's my finishes. Here's my finishes. <laughs> All right, uh, what else do you got? What do you got for whips? So I did finish my bigger chart of the Chalk for the Home series. And I have half of the smaller chart done. So the only things I worked on were I finished the tree lot and I also finished the Tis the Season from Classic Color Works. And then I did a little bit more on my Christmas rules. Which one are you working on? I'm at the top one. I'm at the very last. You can just show them the whole design. So I, I have about half of it done, and then I need to do the topper, and it'll be done. So I'm really excited to, if you want to show them the whole thing too, just let that. I'm really excited to get this finished and on display. Because I need more Christmas stuff. I can't wait till you guys <laughs> see the video tour. She needs more Christmas stuff, like I need a hole in the head. Oh, no, I'll show that with, okay. Um, I worked on my sweet shop a little bit more. Um, I'm sick throughout the week, so looking at a chart has been a little bit difficult for me, but I am doing the best I can. <laughs> my mom made up with it with her 42 finishes this week, though. <laughs> Trying to carry the load over here. <laughs> uh, Lakeside Lodge. A lot of you are asking what the pattern name is. So it's Little House Needleworks, Lakeside Lodge. You love the little bears. She's also got a few that I didn't see before this that are a little bit smaller. She's got, like, ornaments. Um... And then there's one that's a little bit 
wider than an ornament. Um, and then I did a real small start on my chickens. You're not even going to be able to. That's Ginger's tail. <laughs> I have a chicken that looks like this. Her name is Ginger. Um, okay, stash. What do you got? So when we were at the Inspired Needle, I got this Jardin Privé patchwork. I think that word means winter. It, they had a model of it, and it was really cute. The chart doesn't look so cute, but that's how it always happens, right? The model looked really cute. It reminded me... I won't even say. I don't know. It was very cute. The colors are really vibrant in person. Or maybe they changed them, but... Yeah, it's very cute. And then I got my last chart from John Sunshine Lane. And this is Jenny Bean's Christmas Sampler. And this is Kitten Stitcher's designs, right? Can you see it? I had seen Tina from Emily Ann's Closet on Instagram stitching it, and I had to have it, so That's I got really it from pretty. Down Sunshine Lane. That's really pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, mine all comes from the Inspired Needle this week. I had the Scarlet House. I didn't take these out. Was, we will be fine. Uh, Heartland Sampler, if you can see, there's a cow, there's a barn, a chicken over here. So I had to get that. And that little white picket fence is adorable. And I really like willow trees and the flag. Okay, I like it all. And then um, <laughs> Little House Needleworks was buy one, get one free, so I'm a sucker for a deal. I got Little Red Riding Hood and all my fairy tales. And then in true fashion for Pioneer Woman, I got the mercantile. You know, she has the merc. I don't think I'll be stitching the words. I'll just do something like this. It's cute. I think it's one of her older. I haven't seen this lately. Have you? Mm -mm. I've never seen it. Oh, 2010. So a couple of years old. old. No, no, I didn't mean like old, old. I just meant. Oh, and then we went around the corner. We asked the ladies at the Inspire Needle where we could um, get some thrifty stuff, so they mm -hmm. sent us to a good, good, good Goodwill, wheel. and then there was a little <laughs> one in town, and the one in town there was a stack of fabric. And wait till you see this fabric. Wait till you see it, cause she's taking so long. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe a pillow or something. I don't know. I love it. Maybe just a dress. <laughs> 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 A cow dress. I think that would be perfect. A little moo -moo. slip cover for a chair. <laughs> Just something. Um, but we couldn't pass it up. So got it. Um, I'm going to get my quilting bug back. We're going to cut some fabric today. Yeah. Um, and then uh, oh, wait, right I then. since I finished the tree lot, I want to start another hometown holidays for our sale. And I'm going to start the train station. And someone asked, I saw them ask if, if their fearless leaders for Lantern Lane had fallen off the wagon. And yes, I have fallen <laughs> off the wagon, but only until I finish my chalk and then I'll be back. I'm going to finish my chalk, this, and then back to Lantern Lane like full time. Full time. Mm -hmm. Like it's my job. Because <laughs> I want to finish it for Christmas. <laughs> oh, we got new shirts too, Farm Girl. They still say the real house size of cross stitch. Mine's a little crooked. We just made them this morning. Um, I'm going to put a little needle and thread on here too. Get fancy with it. Yeah, we need to do something for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was looking at Christmas vacation sweatshirts. Why is the car is it why is the carpet all wet, Todd? <laughs> I don't know, Margo. <laughs> there was those that were a couple ones that I thought were cute. But some of those things are expensive. I can just make them. All right, what else? So keep doing your sales. Oh, you stitch along. So yes. see Hometown Holidays, Lantern Lane, SAL. Wednesday, Winter Wednesday excess, PC. Santa Sunday excess, snow. What? Oh, forest snowfall. Forest snowfall. Is and that, that we are we'll still put the link down below for Down Sunshine Lane, so you can still get the deal on it until I think December fifteenth. It 15th. says in her. Go to the link and it'll say on her website. If you haven't already gotten it, and thank you for tagging us when you get your stuff, because we're excited yeah. to start it too. And I like all the fabric choices, and mm -hmm. some of you are switching out that bluey gray color, so I, I like seeing it all. 
because I haven't picked all mine yet, so I like seeing your ideas. <laughs> I think we're good. What you, you're going to be working on? You talked about that. Yes. Okay. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish my Christmas rules, my chalk that I can't show you. Hopefully, soon. Maybe next week. And then we're going to be putting together the uh, Christmas tour. I gotta go. I brought Santa's elves with me today, and they're gonna help us clean up, and we're gonna take the video <laughs> tour. Um, so you'll see that probably later. To, I'm gonna try for later today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, later today. So two videos with your favorite people. What could be better? Thank, thank you for tagging us in all your inspired by us finishes. We enjoy seeing them, and we love the Priscillify hashtag. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> um, I also like seeing. I mean, I just like seeing all, and all the comments that you leave on our uh, YouTube, on our yes, Instagram, Thank you so much Facebook. for the comments. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for it all. And all your well wishes to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. It's nice. Okay. We will so see So follow you. us. Oh, yeah. We forgot that. Part. At Priscilla Blaine. I didn't forget. You're just trying to get out of here. <laughs> We're at 21 minutes. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> at Priscilla Blaine. At Chelsea356 on Instagram. Priscilla's 2000 on Facebook, Priscilla's 2000.blogspot.com. And you can see, I started putting the trees up last week, so you can see some of the trees so far. And I'm going to keep putting them up until they're all up there. Um, I can't think of anything else. Somebody said you must live in a mansion since you have No, we trees. live in a normal two story house. house. It's just. Packed with Christmas. <laughs> You'll see you later. All right, we are good to go. We'll see you later. Bye.